When we go to set a, a stallion stud fee in this first year, um, there's a number of, of factors that we're looking at. You're looking at first sire power. Who is the sire? What is his stud fee? When you're the son of a popular horse, you're probably going to come in at a lower price point, but where are you going to fit underneath that? And again, when a, when a good stallion produces a horse like Authentic, um, his stud fee is going to likely go up, which does create room for you to, to price your horse accordingly just below where the sire had been previously. So sire power is very, very important. You, next, you're looking at the, the bottom half of the pedigree, the female side. Um, Authentic has a deep pedigree, particularly if you go back to the third dam, comes from a wonderful family. He is out of a daughter of Mr. Greeley, who is a wonderful stallion and tend to throw beautiful looking animals. A big part of understanding the pricing on stallions too is, is how commercial they're going to be. The, the, the commercial market, in other words, uh, selling weanlings and yearlings and two-year-olds at auction is what drives the market. We have to feel like a stand's going to be well received. It's important for us to price them strongly, to send the right message to breeders, but not so high that they're turned off and don't feel that they can make a, a profit. Generally, we feel like we'd rather underprice one by a little bit than overprice one. If you overprice one, you find yourself in a position of having to cut deals and reduce prices in the first year, and that's something you really want to avoid. Uh, you generally uh, don't have to discount off of your introductory price in year two and three, you generally will have to discount five or 10% to be able to, to fill your stallion's book. So the commercial demand and the expected commercial demand is very important in Authentic's case. As a son of Into Mischief and a dual classic winner, so to speak, you have no question about that demand being there and the fact that he's a great physical. We are very busy for an extended period leading up to and re really right on through breeding season, showing all of our stallions to prospective breeders. They're trying to determine what that physical mating is gonna look like. But when you've got a big, uh, classy, good looking horse like Authentic, um, people feel like he's gonna fit with a lot of their mares and, and uh, we've not had too many people disappointed in what they saw. The other thing you're doing, just as you might do in real estate or any other ventures, you're looking at comparables. Uh, what of other first year stallions with similar race records, what have they started at recently? And what are the differences, for better or for worse, that might affect the given stallion's stud feed? Finishing the year strong, winning the Breeders' Cup Classic, is a great way to head into selling seasons. It's fresh on people's mind, and that, that is really, really helpful. And again, Authentic finishing up the year the way he did helped us set a good solid stud fee, and we've not had to look back at all. We feel like we hit the number pretty well right on the head. I think people felt like it was a fair price. I think he probably was about a 40 to 50 without the Breeders' Cup Classic win. The Breeders' Cup Classic win solidified him at 75. And as we said, the, the demand's been great for him. So the number of mares that Authentic will breed in a year is, uh, is an interesting subject on, on any stallion. A lot of farms take different approaches to it. Uh, some farms take an approach of limiting the stallion's book and trying to create as much value um, for the offspring as they can. Other farms take approach of getting numbers out there. We like to get numbers out there. We like to attract as many quality breeders as we can. And one of the things that that does is it, it allows us to price the horse a little bit lower to ensure that we have the demand that we want. Um, so where some stallions may breed 130, 150 mares in their first year, Authentic's book will start somewhere around 190 mares um, in his first year. We will look to add to that if he demonstrates that he's physically able to handle that. Um, there's a lot of questions that really can't be answered until breeding season starts in terms of libido and in terms of uh, fertility. Everything looks good right now for him as a stallion prospect. Um, everything that we've seen here on the farm, we're encouraged by um, his sire into mischief and his other into mischief's other sons have all been able to handle a, a really substantial book. Into Mischief spread um, upwards of 240 mares in a year, which he handles really, really well. If Authentic demonstrates that he can handle that, then that 190 number will grow 
and, and he'll, he'll wind up over 200 mares in his first year. But again, we, we let the horse tell us that he's able to handle that before we go to those kinds of numbers. Authentic stacks up really well in terms of this year's crop of first year sires. Um, I think because he is such a complete package, there are other uh, very good race horses that are retiring. There are other horses with very, very good pedigrees that are retiring. There's some very fast horses that are retiring. There's some horses with wonderful stamina that are retiring. He, I would say, is the only horse that ticks every one of those boxes. Speed, stamina, precocity, pedigree, top and bottom. He is the complete package. It's certainly no guarantee of success, but you sure uh, like your odds going to stud with a horse like Authentic.